In today's video, I'm taking you to Walmart and sharing with you all the new spring and Easter decor finds for 2023. It's going to be a shop style and decorate type of video so that you can figure out how to incorporate some of these items into your home, get those creative juices flowing and really figure out what you want and what you don't want. But everything that you see in today's video will be linked in the description box below this video and you can just tap the more button right next to the title and everything will pop up there for you as well as on my like to know it and my blog. But yeah, I hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you're new, hey. Hey, welcome. My name is Emily and I'm really happy you're here. I love to be able to inspire and motivate you here on my channel. So we've got a lot to get through. So let's go on and do a little shopping and we'll style and decorate throughout the video. One item I think they did a fantastic job on this year were the carrots. These wood ones are not tacky at all. They're really, really nice looking. The smaller ones are two, the larger ones are 450, so a little bit pricier, but these would be so pretty on a tablescape or something or in a bowl. I wanted to pair them in a pretty, um, um, pot or something then you could get these these are in the outdoor area at Walmart and I think these are like three dollars they come in a couple different sizes but adding those to the inside is just really really pretty and now you could put filler on the bottom so they stick out a little bit more but I love the neutral um, ness of these because you can decorate for spring without using a ton of color um, and if you want to use a ton of color go for it but simple touches like this earthy tones can really add a lot to your space without it feeling overpowering or too festive or anything like that so you could get the larger one of these and then put one maybe one of the eggs in it with the um, carrots and stuff and it just have like a little nod to spring there talk about the Easter egg situation at Walmart. They have so many to choose from and they have so many different sizes. I feel like they did such a great job with that this year. These are huge. They're around five or six inches um, tall. Now, if you don't like the uh, ribbon at the bottom, you can just take that off. Super simple. But for $2, you get really, really large eggs. I picked them up in a couple different styles. This one, um, is this one? Oh, this one with the jute on it is $3.50. You could totally make these, but I feel like for the price, it's already done for you and you're not saving that much if you do decide to make them. But if you wanna get crafty, go for it. But I would just remove these tassels. I don't, I don't like them. Um, but it's all personal preference. And then I really liked, it matches my shirt today. Oh, they're rolling everywhere. Is this pretty um, checkered pattern one. This one is also 350. I really like the pastel colors on it, but these would be great on a tablescape, or you could add these to a uh, pedestal bowl or decorative bowl on your shelving and stuff. Really simple and easy ways to add simple touches of Easter to your home. And if you're not into that, I totally understand. You don't have to decorate for Easter, but if you wanna introduce a little bit of spring, I think um, eggs are a really fun and festive way to do it. But um, if you have kiddos, they really like using them too. 
Now for a more sophisticated style of decorating with eggs, you could get these ceramic ones. These are really pretty and I don't feel like they scream Easter in a sense, um, but they have an extra large size as well. I think that one was around $12. These were $7.88, so really good price, but they do light up. Um, well, that one I think was supposed to. This one has a light up thing in it, so this one fell out. So <laughs> check the bottom before you buy, but I think they're really pretty and these would be great on shelves and stuff. Just adding a simple touch here and there would be really nice. You saw the cute baskets in the East Tier area. They also had these in the regular craft aisle. So I really liked um, the options for those as well, especially the wire one. I feel like you, you do so much with that and you can use these indoor and out as well. But this one in the regular um, Easter aisle is really nice size. And I feel like this would be great on a porch or something or underneath a console table. You could add blankets inside, but it's just a great filler piece and it's something that you can use year round. But I really like the two-tone color in it and I really like how they wove it. It's braided and it's woven in. I think it's really pretty. So a lot of texture with this basket and I think it was $15. Um, no, $17. So not terrible at all. The bottom is woven as well. Uh, so it's just really pretty. I definitely wouldn't put this in an area that could get wet or anything, but really, really pretty. And you know, um, the, the handles do adjust a bit, which is kind of nice. So if your kiddos are collecting eggs or something, they could collect them together with the big old basket. You could definitely customize it with their cute Easter and spring ribbons that they have out right now. They also have some really cute signs and picture frames that you can add and savor. Um, you can give them as a gift too. I thought that would be a really fun idea, but I really liked these bunnies. Oh my goodness, these are so fun. What do you guys think of the statue bunnies? I thought those were really pretty and I love the array of colors. So, so good, but the sizes were really good. And so I picked up the extra large bunny. Um, well, technically there's only two sizes. You have the other one that is around 18 inches and this one is about two and a half feet. It's really awesome. I just think this would be so pretty next to the front porch. Um, just really cute. It is a little bit of an investment. It's $25 um, and it is kind of large to store, but you could just saran wrap the bunny and put him away so he doesn't get all dusty. But I just think it's so good. It's not terribly heavy, um, so but it's nice and sturdy. I mean, look how large it is. It's like half my body. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> also had these wood shape cutouts that stack together and give a 3D look. And I thought those were great for springtime as well. Now, if you like to set a really pretty tablescape, especially for Easter, but even for spring, just have something subtle, then you need to pick up their table runners. I really like this one with all the color on it. And I like that it has the tassels. These were $14, but again, it's something easy easy that you can do to add a little pop of spring and Easter to your home. For me, I like to decorate for spring in general, very nice and neutral, have a little pops of color here and there. And then for Easter, I like to add just a couple subtle touches closer to that day um, just to celebrate and stuff. And so I thought this would be really, really pretty on the table. It is really, really long too. Um, so it's going to drape over but they just had so many nice options to choose from. They had some really cute and festive Easter and spring kitchen towels to choose from, as well as paper plates, even some from the Pioneer Woman, but I thought this was really nice. I haven't seen those before. And then of course, if you're gonna be baking or wanting to make anything with the kiddos, lots of different shapes and sizes of trays to choose from to bake. I really liked that they carried the rings and the napkins as a set and so many options to choose 
choose from. This one is so pretty. It's got the dark wood bunnies, which I feel like for $14, getting a set of napkins and the bunnies together is a really good price. I wanna share with you a really simple tablescape that would be really pretty for spring and also for Easter. Um, you can take out certain things if you don't wanna to have too much Easter in there. It's just all personal preference. I'm gonna start by spreading out the table runner and then adding in a wood tray using those planters and layering in the different size carrots. And then with the napkin set, uh, unfolding them, I think it looks pretty, especially since they have a fringe edge. And then putting the bunnies on, they're just so cute and pretty. And layering those in to there could be really fun and festive. Um, again, adding incorporating the eggs. You can get rid of the table runner and just keep things very neutral. You can incorporate the carrots in different ways if you want to. I thought it'd be really fun to use the planter and then put all the napkins kind of coming out of that with the bunnies. I thought that would be really pretty and then people can just take as they go, especially if you're doing like a buffet style or something. So I just think it came together really pretty, keeping it very neutral. You can add pops of color through your plates and any other items, but I really wanted to just kind of get your creative juices going here and sharing with you a couple different ideas using the planter and um, that way you can reuse it in different spots in your home. You can use it to put herbs in and things like that, which I plan on doing. So think outside the box when it comes to some of the decor. You can use it for different things throughout the entire year. I thought this floor mat was so adorable and I really liked that it was double sided. So if you're more of that pink and green type of gal, go for this side. But if you like more blues and greens, go for this side. I just think it's so pretty and it is washable. Um, so that's nice and everything. But I mean, come on. I wasn't expecting them to have floor mats. So that's a really easy way to decorate for Easter um, and spring is just switch out your floor mat or add it on top of your other one, layer it in. Um, and that can really be really pretty. I still have my Christmas one outside, so I definitely need to change that out soon, but I think this would be really pretty layered with my regular floor mat. But I really wanted to highlight a couple other new items that Walmart has out right now. The Pioneer Woman has a complete outdoor set, so if you love that turquoise and those bright colors, she's got some really pretty options for you. And she also has some in the craft aisle as well, but I love this bag, even though it is for gardening, you could totally use it for your sewing supplies. You could get the matching scissor and rotary cutter to match it. That's what I like about her line is that you can get items that completely complement each other because she likes a ton of color and likes to correlate everything together. About a month ago, I took you to Walmart and shared with you all the new spring pottery, outdoor planters, and things like that. Well, they still have them. And I picked up a couple of this style of pot. It has to have a drainage hole on it. They come in a couple different sizes and then they also come with the tray so you can keep them indoor or out without it making a mess but I thought these would be really pretty in that plant stand that I got. I originally got that for the porch and I'm currently using it in her bathroom, but I really wanted to have an area for my herbs um, that aren't way out in the garden, that are a little closer to the house. And so I wanted to get these to put in a few of my favorite um, herbs that I like to bake, um, cook with. So like, you cannot beat this so for $5. The texture on it and everything is really, really nice. It's a beautiful charcoal color. It has a drainage hole, so it can be used decorative or with plants and stuff, but it's just really nice. And they still have these. Now I wanna take you into the kitchen and organizing area. Oh, the home edit collection that they have at Walmart is so good. I love that everything's clear. It's everything seals really well, but you can also find these bamboo ones that stack, which is wonderful. So you can use them for multiple areas in your house for organizing, not just in the kitchen. I love the cake plates that they have out. All the wood tones, they did such a good job. It's so affordable and it's great for entertaining and decorating, which is something I love.
Now that I've covered a lot of the entertaining goods for inside, I want to share with you some of the outside items that they are bringing out, and they're really good. I've covered a lot of their rugs before. I feel like they just keep getting better and better. The Dave and Jenny line is gorgeous. This one has so much texture, and I feel like it could be used inside as well. Oh, I had restraint to not getting that, but they have it in green as well. Really pretty. I love this set. It actually has these little stools that tuck underneath, um, but it's actually comfortable. And then of course they have the egg chair, but lots of beautiful rugs to choose from. Lots of different sizes as well. And I have all my patio furniture is actually from Walmart and I love it. This set here is just wonderful. I love this rug. I really wanted to find that so I can add that to my home as well. These are the swivel chairs that match the sofa. Everything is really comfortable and that's something that I really like about Walmart is that it's affordable but it's also really cute and comfortable which is really important in my opinion but I like the variety that they have with all their outdoor furniture whether you're looking at umbrellas you got different sizes you have different size cushions and color options to choose from so there is something for everybody which I love because it's just a, like a one-stop shop and it's wonderful you can go in there and get so inspired and figure out what you want to take home with you to decorate your home. Have to let me know what your favorite item is that you saw in today's video in the comments below. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, everything will be linked to the description box below this video as well as on my blog. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you for spending a part of it with me and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.